challenge highlights the need to protect the funds that starve, stave off hunger for millions of Americans each day. So for being one of the only politicians willing to empathize with someone in need by walking in their shoes, you, Mayor Cory Booker, are my hero of the day. So if he's the hero, who's the villain? Well, this one's quite an easy target. Today, it's Bob Ryan. And for those of you who don't know who Bob Ryan is, he's a top housing advisor in the Obama administration, but not for much longer. You see, Mr. Ryan has conveniently decided to jump ship. Yep, next month, he'll start a mortgage banking position at Wells Fargo. So why is this a big deal? Well, you have to dig a little deeper for that one. You see, Mr. Ryan has a pretty hefty resume that just screams conflict of interest. First off, his current position since 2009 has been senior advisor to the Secretary for Housing and Urban Development. Last year, he worked as FHA commissioner for the agency working on high-risk FHA loan resolutions. But before that, he was a faithful employee for 26 years at Freddie Mac. You remember them, the government-backed entity that had to be bailed out by our tax dollars in 2009 to help repay defaulted mortgages. Back in March, Mr. Ryan was a key player in the $25 billion mortgage foreclosure settlement between the country's five largest lenders, including Wells Fargo. Now, Wells Fargo's facing a lawsuit filed in October over FHA-backed loans. Good thing Mr. Ryan will be there for the rescue as the company's senior vice president. So, for graciously epitomizing the corrupt and despicable revolving door relationship between Washington and Wall Street banks, Mr. Bob Ryan, you're my villain of the day. Example of this. Phil Graham worked in Congress for 23 years making legislation tied directly to the banking industry. The year that he retired from public service, Phil Graham went on to work for UBS, a Swiss investment bank. Thomas Bliley served 30 years in the House of Representatives and upon retirement, Bliley went on to work for a number of lobbying firms representing the banking industry. The story does not end there, however. Dick Cheney served as Vice President for eight years under George W. Bush. Immediately before this, however, Cheney was CEO of an oil company called Halliburton, which may explain why the Bush administration was so friendly to the oil industry. Billy Towson served in the House of Representatives for 25 years. Afterwards, he became President and CEO of Pharma, a lobbying firm for the healthcare industry. Interestingly enough, two months before resigning from Congress, he played a key role in passing a bill that was very generous to the pharmaceutical industry. Not all hope is lost though. H.R. 440 is a bill introduced by Representative Bill Posey and has the chance to change this. The gist of the bill is that congressmen cannot lobby for an industry until five years after they leave Congress. This is a step in the right direction that needs your help to pass in Congress. Please go to the site listed and find your local representative and call him or her to let them know that you support this bill. Together we can close the revolving door.